My name is Andy Piper, president of Nye County Support Staff Organization, and I transport the most precious cargo in the world. And I've been doing this proudly without incident for 14 years as a school bus driver. In my 14 years, I have noticed, along with a justified emphasis on keeping students in school, at times there has been a loss of focus on the safety of every student and those working in public education. Recently in, in Knight County, I attended a training for school bus drivers and school bus aides. It left those of us disappointed and frustrated. You see, NCSSO has been working with the district to address these chronic student discipline issues on the school bus. There has not been much progress. So as we ad addressed our concerns, our superintendent told us, we will discipline as we see fit. You document, you do your job, it's out of your hands then. The district's primary concern is keeping these kids in school and educating them. While NCSSO also wants to keep struggling students in school, this can't be done in a way that compromises other students and employees their safety. That is why we support SB 386 to expand Nevada's system of progressive student discipline from the classroom to all other school facilities, including transportation. We appreciate that in the classroom, a teacher is the responsible party for implementing a system of progressive discipline so that every student can learn and be safe. This logic should apply to other school facilities. On a school bus, the driver is responsible for making sure every student gets to school or back home safely. This is a responsibility that all school bus drivers that I know take very seriously. It should follow that the driver should have the tools available to get this job done, including able to engage in a fair, progressive discipline process. In transportation, distractions can have consequences that are more grave than in any other situation. It only takes a distracted driver and a split second at the wrong time for a tragedy to strike. It is difficult to explain to someone who is not regularly on a school bus how serious this situation is. For example, student repeatedly standing up, engaging in horseplay, and ignoring instructions from the driver is endangering the other students on the bus and the public at large. School bus drivers need the tools to effectively deal with this far too common situation. Thank you.